What's going on everybody? It's your boy Snooker 404 back at it again with another gameplay video and today I got a very fucking special guest, another clan member of mine. One of the coolest brothers I know is Genius Rain finally coming to the mic, man. It's been a long time, man. I'm special. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, y'all? Hello America is what you want to say. In the UK and England or whoever is watching this YouTube video. As you guys can clearly, clearly see, it's some more Destiny content. I know I need to bring another game. Probably tomorrow bring you guys some Battlefield 1 or whatever. But today, I want to get something off my chest. Tell them. It's been bothering me for so long. Well, really not that long because I only seen the picture a couple days ago. What's your frustration? I don't even think it's been a week. But it's this picture I've seen going around on the internet and that's been on Facebook. That just got me wondering because... As I'm playing a game, I don't know if you guys ever really listen to me talk or if you're just watching the gameplay or whatever. We talk about a lot of random shit. I'm just going to be honest. Anything you possibly think of, we probably don't talk about. But <laughs> it's this picture circling around of this silverback gorilla that clearly <laughs> says, Would you fight this gorilla for $1.5 billion? And you get to pick two... I guess associates or crime fighters or whatever the hell you want to call them to fight with you. And all you got to do is survive 10 minutes. Now, if you don't know gorillas, which you should, these are some strong motherfuckers. We ain't talking about just, you know, heavy lifting type, you know, world strongest man type shit. But these motherfuckers will rip your dick off. <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem at all or whatever. And probably rip your arm and your legs off and possibly beat you with them. You can't outrun them because they run on all fours. They're quick as fuck also. This shit is crazy. But me, being the man I am, I don't like to take, you know, challenges down or anything like that. I love a challenge. How, how you feel about that, Gene? Do you like challenges too, man? I like challenges, man. And this is a, it's a good challenge. You know, 1.5 billion, you say? 1.5 billion. Not million fucking billions. You know, you set up for a good minute with that amount of money. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sold. I would, <laughs> I would fight this gorilla. Um, that's, that's, that's how I feel. <laughs> now, with the odds against me, I'm going to go ahead and be, you know, since he is featured in this video and is like, Quote unquote, my best friend, no homo, none attended behind it. But I'm gonna be kind of let him go. All right, you're fighting a gorilla, you're in the ring, stadium, however the hell you want to fight this or wherever you want to be. Who are the two people that you're fighting, and how do you approach this scenario? Mm, so, the world is waiting. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't think about this, but off the top of my head. I'm going to go with Dave Batista and Jet Li. <laughs> why, do, why, you, why you getting martial arts and wrestlers in this shit? Well, because Batista's just his, just his sheer size or whatever. I feel like I could just hide behind him while he takes him on, you know, head on. And then you need them precision strikes, you know, that, you know, hit him in the, the neck and the... Probably the balls. But, um, you know, you got Jet Li there who's quick as hell. And then, you know, I'll just come in, clean him up, get a few hits in, you know, and then boom, boom, boom. We got it. I can I can fully respect that, man. Because, I mean, when it comes down to this, it's, it's not going to be an easy fight. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I, well, this kind of pushing it. But I'm pretty sure. I'm going to put a gorilla level up that with fighting Bruce Lee. Like, this <laughs> This ain't no shit you just finna walk in and be like, all right, I got this motherfucker. Shit going down. Shit's going to happen. And this is how it's going to play out. Like, no, you you probably going to die. You probably won't even get this one point billion dollars. But the thing about it is honestly trying. And I can I can respect that team, actually. Because, like, that's, that's an on Dave Parisa and Jet Li. Because you, you kind of do got it. I mean... You throwing, I mean, I, nigga like me, I'm going to be honest, I'll probably be behind them too, throwing like fucking rocks or something. I'm going to contribute to this team. Now, since we going on the edge of probably who I pick, if it came down to it, now you know how I like to get down and think about this. So can, I, can I bring people back from the dead? Come on, man. Look why we got to do I'm just, I'm just asking. Go Can ahead, I? Go ahead. When it goes down to it, <laughs> and this is gonna trip you out. The motherfuckers that I probably, <laughs> the motherfuckers I probably get to do this is probably Harambe 
Get him to fucking, <laughs> get fucking Harambe to come out. Because it's like, it makes sense. A fucking gorilla versus a gorilla. Like, I imagine it'll be that way. And fucking my, my second hand man is probably going to trip you out. But I think I told you this the other day. I think uh I think a kangaroo. <laughs> Now I know oh, that's man. like like an off wall thing to kinda kinda say, but I you know I fucks with kangaroos obviously. I can see the logic behind that. You know, after watching National Geographic and Kangaroo Jack, you know, uh, I can I can see that Give them strong hind legs just jump up and super yeah. kick them like you know Mortal Kombat or something. I mean, this is the true effect. I mean, is is not just I don't just like dunk. Not- Dunkaroos. I know if I don't know if you remember them. <laughs> I'm not just picking kangaroos because of Dunkaroos and shit, but you know, these motherfuckers got some some strong chemistry and shit behind them. Them legs now, I will give them the downside. <laughs> they ain't got no arms. Like they got upper body strength, don't get me wrong. If you ever seen like a kangaroo, they got strong ass chest and shit like that, but like who if <sighs> I mean the kangaroo is important, but Let's shift back towards Harambe. Man. Harambe, man. Like, all right. Like I said, man, a gorilla versus a gorilla. This is like an even kind of matchup. You need a kangaroo at that point, man. You but it's, still, it's, it's the backup plan thing that matters. <laughs> you come around, I'm talking about Harambe. He comes in there, make his noise. You know, they beat on each other's chest. They say what they got to say or whatever. And then, you know, the can- he, can, he can hold a gorilla. And the kangaroo could just go to fucking work on him with the legs, like just repeatedly kick him, crush his fucking ribs or whatever. I'm just saying, man. Mm. Shit got to be done. Shit can get done. And this this is who I pick as my team. I mean, overall, you, you just can't go wrong with, I guess, you know, fucking animals fighting fucking other animals. I mean, this is just honestly how I see it. You, all right, the way I kind of see it, it's kind of like, all right, if fucking aliens and shit was real. <laughs> I mean, being realistic about it, would you want an alien to fight another alien or would you fully take on an alien? I'm not talking fucking Roger from American Dad alien. I'm talking about like fucking alien versus predator type aliens. Well, and you know me. I, I want to survey the situation first. It depends on the type of alien we fighting or whatever. As you know, if I feel like we have the means to hurt them, then I wouldn't mind taking a fight to them myself. Exactly. See, that? if more people thought this way, you know, the world would honestly be a lot easier and better place. I mean, but it's not like every day motherfuckers just wake up, hey, dog, I got I to gotta go fight this animal real quick, you know, a <laughs> couple, couple meals real quick. But it is motherfuckers that apparently... I thought it was a fake thing, but it's, it's motherfuckers that really fight kangaroos. What? Yeah, it's like a fucking like real type boxing league. So I feel comfortable in one of the decisions I made. Getting a kangaroo. Is that? <laughs> I mean, these motherfuckers. It's still well, a little odd to me. <laughs> well, what about alternates? If we thinking alternates, I'm going with fucking. Now this is just my scenario. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the water. I'm gonna take the fight to another level and put this shit in some water. So, oh. one, of, <laughs> so one of my choices is obviously gonna be a fucking mammal or whatever. A fucking uh, I don't know, man. I wasn't too good at science and all this shit. Fuck it. But I'm picking fucking um. I wanna. I was gonna say a fucking dolphin, but why the fuck would you take a silly ass animal to a fucking fight? That's fucking retarded. Um. Probably being realistic, probably just take an alligator and a fucking shark. I, I mean, respect that. What 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 are you thinking about? I've been thinking for a minute about this alternative, and I'm gonna go with a python. Wow, and that's and a good fucking choice. <laughs> Because I watch Lion King so much, I'm gonna have to go with a lion, young Simba. You know, we got the lion with the claws, and then we got the python to just really strangle the shit out of him. And then that's it. I like, mean, that, honestly, yeah, the python will probably fuck. Is a gorilla strong enough to break free of a python? I'm not too sure about that. So I need to figure this shit out. I mean, you got all these motherfuckers, you know, discovering what kind of fucking bites and shit hurt from insects. Can a gorilla break break free from a python? No, I have to test that shit one day. Not me. But, I would think know. it depends on the size of the python because they do vary in size. 
I'm pretty sure they can get up to 20 feet though. So if you got a 20 foot ginormous python coming to fight a gorilla, I don't I don't see this going in the gorilla's way unless the gorilla got the drop. Um, that's true. I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> how the fuck? How is a gorilla gonna sneak up on a snake? That's, that's, <laughs> it's just it's just certain things that ponder my mind. But all in all, guys. <laughs> Definitely ho- hope you enjoyed this weird-ass topic today. More of this to come. Definitely leave me some likes and comments below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. Jeans, you want to tell anybody anything? I know, yeah. In the comments section, let us know what you think. What would be your choices? I really want to hear from you. This is definitely true. We would definitely like to hear this from you guys. But definitely, guys, appreciate you for watching the video. And until next time, i catch you guys later.